First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, pushing this truth and sincerity. This could be another episode of comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. And today I have a another picture. And this picture is of a nuclear bomb. And the caption on the picture says, Babylon, it's been a blast. Israelites, we out. And when I saw this, you know, it sparked me to do a lesson and to look in the scriptures, okay, where it basically says that we would, you know, basically be out of Babylon, okay, you know, to the spirit, we're done with this place. I want to go to the book of Zechariah, the second chapter, and start at the sixth verse. It says, Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, saith the Lord. Okay? That land of the north is, is America. Okay? It's no longer going to be said, the Lord delivered the Israelites out of the land of Egypt, but it's going to be said, the Lord delivered the Israelites out of the land of the north. Okay. So back in Zechariah 2 and 6. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. Saith Yahweh Bashim Shai, For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven. Saith Yahweh. And that's of a truth. The Israelites have been spread abroad as the four winds of the heaven. You know, Israelites have gone into captivity throughout the four corners of the earth. That was a curse unto them. And now belonging to us confusion of faces, you know, and through the spirit. We're waiting for, you know, the multitude to come in. But those that are here in the land of the north, you know, we have to hasten. You know, the scriptures say the captive exile hasten to be uh, loose, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, Zechariah 2 and 7. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Right. Deliver thyself, O Zion. Okay. And we are Zion. We are that monument of righteousness that was always supposed to be upon the earth. Okay, before we went astray. Deliver thyself, O Zion. When you look up that word deliver. Strong's H forty four twenty two. Malat. Malat. It says to slip away, escape, deliver, save, be delivered, to slip away, escape, to be delivered, to lay, let slip out of, okay, to let escape, to deliver, save life, to slip forth, slip out. All right, in the Strong's definition, it says what? To escape as if by slipperiness, the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Causatively to release or rescue. Right? The Lord's going to rescue us. Specifically to bring forth young. Alright? Deliver. Self. Escape. You see? You have to be in the spirit. Okay? To want to escape. The things that are coming upon the earth. You know, mainly here in Babylon. Okay? You want to be in the spirit. You know... To be delivered, you know, uh, you know the, the sins of Babylon have reached unto the heavens, you know, 
and through the spirit, you know, uh, the spirit has had me, you know, basically research and look into certain things like, you know, we, we are under siege. Okay. They're trying to starve us out. You know, they, they, they are, uh, they're attacking the old as well as the young. Okay. By the education. Okay. By, 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 uh, modern day slavery, i.e. going to work every day. Okay. Forever paying house and car notes. Not to mention the, the, um, the transformers agenda you know the distractions the wicked morale you know the the, the moral decay you know the crumbling of the economy it, you know it, it's time to deliver yourself you know we we've we've had enough babylon it, it's been a blast you know israelites we out okay that's the spirit that we're in hey you know what that's okay yeah, I hope Hashem Yashai wants to blow this place off the map. Hey, Lord willing, you know, we can get out of here. Okay, deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Who's the daughter of Babylon? Which are to be destroyed. That's America. For thus saith the Iowa host, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. Okay. After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's gonna is gonna come unto the nations that spoiled us, man. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. Okay. Yeah. He who touched us touched the apple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's eye. Strong's H eight ninety two. Right, a hey. Bava. You know we're a hey, we're a twinkle in 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 Yahweh Bashim Yashai's eye, man. And he that toucheth us, man, hey, the Lord's going to visit you. Okay, he's going to visit the nations that spoiled us. He's going to visit the nation who, who who took our land, okay, and trodden it down. And made it abominable. Okay, he's gonna take down the nations that basically, you know, murdered his people. They took their inheritance. Called themselves the chosen. They blasphemed the scriptures, man. The Lord's gonna visit, you know, Esau and the other nations. You know, starting with Edom though. Okay, for behold, I will shake mine hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. Right, the Lord's going to rebuke them. You know, the scriptures also speak about him lifting up his hand. Okay, so, you know, the Lord's going to uh, lay vengeance. You know, this is all the will we have by Shemiah Shai. The destruction is coming upon Esau, Edom, and these other nations. Okay. For polluting the earth and, and, and destroying you know, his people, you know, he, and he's starting by what? By, by waking us up and rebuking them. So it says, for behold, I will shake my hand upon them and they shall be a spoil to their servants, right? They're going to be a spoil to their servants because ultimately, you know, we're going to take the riches of the Gentiles, you know? The scriptures speak about... um uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, there's going to, you know, the gates are going to be open so they can continually bring in their riches. And they shall be a spoil to their servants, right? These nations are going to be spoiled, okay, by their servants. We served, okay? Was not the so-called black man, okay, in chains? And here it is, the Hispanic... Uh, Latinos can't even uh, be in this country oppressed our people are oppressed the nation of Ga uh, 
the Gadites, I should say, their, their land was taken. Now they now they dwell on reservations. I mean, there's there's going to be a recompense, man. Okay, and they shall be a spoil to their servants, and ye shall know that Yahweh of hosts has sent me. Oh, Yahweh Shai. It's going to be sent by the Most High. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Sing and rejoice. You know, where we got to be in the spirit of, you know, overcoming. You know, the Lord's going to dwell in the midst of us. He's going to be among us. The Most High Yahweh Bashim Yashai is going to be among us, okay? You know, after we get these, these, uh, these, you know, heathen go, you know, get put in captivity and the white man gets destroyed and the earth gets replenished and Jerusalem gets built up and the law comes out and the elect get crowned. I mean, the, the, the new bodies, man, the Lord's going to dwell in the midst of us. It says that many nations shall be joined unto Yahweh by Shem Yashai in that day. And those nations are speaking about the Israelites that were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They're going to be looking like the other nations. Okay. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day and shall be my people. And I will dwell in the midst of thee and thou shalt know that Yahweh of hosts has sent me unto thee. And Yahweh shall inherit Judah, his portion in the Holy Land. Right. The Lord shall inherit Judah, his portion in the Holy Land, you see? You know, so Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, hey man. Hey, Judah's gonna be set up in their in their land, as well as the other tribes. You know, and, and who's gonna be who's gonna be the king of Judah? Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And shall choose Jerusalem again, right? Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So the, the 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 all the tribes are gonna be in their in their in their rightful place too. Okay, it says, be silent, O all flesh before Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. Yeah, definitely. The Lord's gonna raise up, okay, and cause you know this story to, to come to an end. Okay. It's gonna be a wrap for Babylon. It's been a blast. Israelites, we out. Okay, and that's what's coming. A, a, a great blast. You now, starting with that third world's war, you know, these instruments that they made. You know, the Lord's going to ultimately have these nations uh, 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 shoot, shoot, uh, use them upon themselves. And then come with the chariots and bring a great fire. So, yeah. You know, blast out of the Lord's nostrils, man. It's a great judgment coming. And this is what the scriptures speak about. So definitely, definitely have to be in the spirit of delivering thyself, you know, O Zion. Delivering ourselves, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rokakwadash, the honors the apostles and elders. That rule well and a sincere salutation to you. I can push in this truth in sincerity. Shalom.